If you want to type in mathematical equations inside of diagrams.net, then what you can do is you can go under extras and then enable mathematical type setting. But what you need to do is you need uh, you need to um, uh, like add in text um, in ASCII math format. So to learn more about it, you can go to ASCIIMath.org right here and you will learn how to write in different mathematical codes uh, for this right here. So there's an example code and let me just go around and copy this out right here. So now once that is done, let's take a text and then over here in this text, let me just go around and paste that in. So once I do that, you can see that it comes up just like this. But what you need to do to enable the ASCII math is you need to go around and add in the tilde key. That is the top left corner key on your keyboard uh, that you have right here. So once you do that, nothing happens again. That is because ASCII math is turned on, um, off. So to turn it on, you need to go under extras and turn on the ASCII math and immediately you can see that an equation pops up right here. And that is the same equation that you see right here. If you were to go around over here on the bottom, you can see that there's different ASCII math format right here, as you can see right here. So for example, if you want to go around and type in prod, let's say for example, let me just copy this around and go around over here and you can see it turns into code again and post it right here, just like this. Let me just go around over here and then let me just go around and uh, paste this out. You can see that uh, it, it, the symbol that you see right here appears. And this is the guideline that you can use right here in order to use the mathematical type setting to type in mathematical codes as you want. So that is how you can go around and utilize the mathematical type setting option inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.